G'day everyone. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy shop, um, just waiting to unbox something very special with you guys. I'm going to give it a few minutes because I want some more people to pop on board and see uh, what I'm going to unbox. <laughs> you know, I always get excited when I do these. Woo! So let me see who's in here. Let me move this over. Um, now, where are we? Because I need to move this over. Let me just see if I can drag this over so we can see where it is. There we go. So who have we got? People are saying, what are you gonna get? Well, I want you to guess for a few minutes what you think I've got. <laughs> Lang's just saying, look at the green, I know. Now, remember, shh, we can't tell Kerry because I've got a month before she sees this on the credit card. So, shh. So this is just between you guys and uh, me. Uh, Kerry's uh, out <laughs> on a dinner at the moment, so she won't even know what's going on. Um, so please, you know, just keep this quiet. <laughs> oh, I love it. You know, I get so excited with this stuff. This is something I've been after for ages, um, and I want to see if anyone can guess what it is. So let's have a see anyway who's here. Now, if you're popping in later on, I'll put the exact time that I did the unboxing, so you don't have to go through this if you don't want to, guys, and, and you know, be in the excitement of what's going to happen. Um, but uh, I'll stick that down below in the timeline so you can see exactly when I uh, start the unboxing. So we've got Langston in here. Also is also there. Manuel is here. Uh, Scott's uh, speaker is here as well. David said, hi, David, what did you get? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> Uh, David said, so excited. j Rose says, are you sure you won't get in trouble? I probably will get in trouble. Um, but, you know, this is what happens when you buy something. Um, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. <laughs> uh, we'll be in trouble though, no doubt. Did you get something bad again? Yep. Um... What else have we got? G'day, Aaron is in here too. JB says, um, g'day, V1. No, it's not a V1. Um, what else? Uh, Langston's just said, anybody in LA want to be my PA tomorrow? Personal assistant, eh? The essential light's giving a thumbs up. David said, the suspense is killing me and I need to get to sleep. Uh, Aaron says, a big potato. Uh, JB says, a Godox V1. Chris said, hello, David. Oh, no, what kind of trouble are you going to get into now? Well, I probably am going to be in trouble, but I'll just have to put up with the, uh, the pain that I'm going to be inflicted. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Sydney says he bought a Pentax. I love it. James says, how much trouble are you in now? Well, I am probably going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, Scott said, we have 1,000 reviews of that. What's that? Um, Colette said, something Tamarini. Ooh, I wish it was something Tamarini, the um, 17 mil, but it's not. We've got to wait for that, Colette. David said, Canon 7D since they are discontinuing. I know, how sad is that? Michelle said, hello, David, I'm excited for you. I'm always excited. Look at the smile on my face. Whenever I get, I'm like, honestly, I'm shocking. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Whenever I get anything new, I've always been the same. I get that excited and I can't sleep the night before. Um, Gary says 24G Master. Interesting, Gary. Um, Langston said lens, body or accessory. You'll have to wait and see. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. Uh, Ray says, how big is the damage? Well, <laughs> it was a couple of thousand dollars worth. Uh, James said, hello, David from Phoenix. Is that DJI shot camera? Um, no, it's not a DJI. Uh, hey, David, on my way to Perth on Friday. Oh, nice. Um, David said, my wife thinks I'm totally nuts. Uh, so does mine. Daniel says, but I have, I have 30 days before, before she finds out I've got it. Uh, Aaron says he pre-ordered the GFX 100. I don't think so, Aaron, but I would like to, to try that camera. Mad says uh, A7000, here it is. Ooh. Uh, Manuel says a few of them coffees and you won't feel the pain. That's right. I've, I've just got to have, but this is real coffee I'm drinking. Sabir <laughs> uh, says, is that Katmandu branding on your jacket? Uh, yes, it is. So I wear, I nearly have everything Katmandu. I have so much of their stuff. I love it. Uh, Kay says, I'm ex 
I'm excited. This is the first time I've caught your live show. Well, thank you for joining us. It's only 400 2.8, I don't think so. Uh, not the 400, no. Uh, that's not my uh, range of uh, lenses. Mad Photographer said, hope so. So, let's see. How long have we been in? Five minutes. I think I'm going to do it with you guys because I just can't wait to open it. Woo! <laughs> All right, let me go to the uh, Osla Images sign because then I'll um, unbox it with you guys. So... G'day everyone. Well, we're going to do an unboxing. I've just had a little bit of a pre-show. I've been looking at people trying to guess uh, what it is and it's quite funny. Um, one person has guessed it, so it's interesting. So I've been after this for ages uh, and I'm really excited to finally get it <clears throat> because it's been on back order for yonks. Now, a couple of people are guessing what it is, I've noticed. <laughs> ooh, 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 hang on. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Let me get it in focus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am so excited to get this. This is my second G Master lens. I've just recently bought the 135, which I adore. And this is my second G Master lens. So I've got now number two. So I'm so excited. Uh, so excited to unbox this with you. Just received it right now. Um, this uh, the red, the main reason why I wanted to get this was to use on a gimbal. That that's the main reason that I've decided to buy this. Uh, I've I've talked about it with you guys for ages, saying that I've been waiting for it to get into stock. I gave up waiting for to get it into stock, so I just pre-ordered it or just ordered it, and it only took about three days to come. So it was fantastic ordered directly from Sony. Um, but I've decided to get this because I wanted something that was nice and light to stick on my gimbal. Um, the thing with this is that uh, I've got the 35, which I'm using now, the 35 1.4, but that is just too heavy for me when I'm doing fusion and, and gimbal type work, and it's not sort of wide enough. So I thought what I'd do is I'd buy this to stick mostly on the gimbal, but also I'll be using this obviously um, in weddings and, and shoots and things like that. And I thought this could be my major combination of using uh, the, I, I might go back to using just probably a couple of lenses during weddings, which will be the third, this will be used obviously for a wide, uh, the 85 Baddus and then the 135. And in between that, I'll probably use the Tamron 28 to 75, which I also love. But let's unbox it and I can show you what it's like because I'm dying to have a look and see how small it is. Um, like I said, I just got it right now. Uh, it came. So let's have a look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Honestly, I'm going to be in so much trouble, but sometimes you just have to get yourself in trouble, don't you? <laughs> oh, I love it. So, nice little case. And I think I'm probably going to be surprised how small this is because it feels really light immediately. Um, which is really interesting because that's the thing I, you, I suppose sometimes you, you see all the reviews on these things, but you don't, I've never actually touched one. So it's gonna, wow, it is small actually. So it comes in a nice case, similar to what the 135 came in um, as well. Uh, little lens hood. I think this is going to be amazing on a gimbal. I can tell already by how light this thing is. Uh, it's crazy how light this thing is. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so here it is. Now I'm getting more and more into video. That is ridiculously small. I am actually surprised how small this is and how light this is. This is going to be incredible on my Moser Aircross 2. Uh, with my A9. It's going to be stunning. I mean, it might even be really nice lens with the A6400 as well. Um, you've got the declickable aperture too, which I adore. Uh, I mean, I really do love using that declickable aperture. Um, as if you turn it off, you can hear it clicking. If I switch it the other way to off, it no longer clicks. Um, you've also got the, you know, your button for your focus, which, you know, you can set to IAF or anything else that you want to actually move it to as well. Um, it feels beautiful. 
Uh, it really does. So like I said, this is my second G Master lens. Let me just put the lens hood on. Where is that there? It's really small, like it is really small. Like now it's got a 67 millimeter filter, which I have bought and I've, it's getting sent to Gerald. Um, because I can't get it delivered here in Australia. So I've ordered this. Let me just move this over so we can see it. Um, now it's an expensive ND. Yes, but I thought I'd try it, order one, and then I can review it for you guys and see whether it's worth the money or not. So I've ordered one of these filters, which is $249. It's this Polar Pro uh, one, which is that Peter McKinnon one. Um, I've ordered the two to five stop, and then I, I, if it's if it is a really good filter, I might get the other one, which is the six to nine or whatever it is. So I've ordered that uh, to use. I've already got a fill an ND that I can use straight away, which is the ProMaster one as well. I think this is the ProMaster. I'm just having a look. No, this is the Hoyer actually. Um, so I've already got um, this, which is the Hoyer one which I use. The beauty of this is it takes the same filter size as what my Tamron 28 to 75 has, which is 67 mil. So that's a really great advantage. So I can share between all of them um, the same filter size. I'll put it on the camera. I want to see how it feels with the A9. Ooh, it's so exciting. <laughs> it's so worth getting in trouble. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, that I mean that fits beautiful. Like I mean I've got the battery grip on the A9 at the moment, but if I take the battery grip off and just have that, uh, it's a great size lens. Like it's really small and light, like beautiful. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be like a kid with candy now, waiting to get out. I can't wait to have a look at it. Um, so that's that's my thinking. Look, I, I, I've, as I've been talking to you guys, and I'll open up to chat in a minute, but I've been talking to you guys about this for a long time, that I am getting more and more into video, the side of video side of things, and I particularly like using the gimbals, and that is going to be stunning on a gimbal. It's also a little bit wider. Like sometimes, even though I love my um, Tamron to death, I mean, I, I do adore this, occasionally it's just not wide enough. Um, so to have that ability to uh, use the 24 if I need to go a little bit wider uh, and plus have the 1.4 aperture, um, I think it'll be lovely. And I do love using prime lenses. So now I'm sort of set in the fact that I've got the 24mm, I've got the Badis 85, I've got the 55 1.8 if I need that as well, and also then the 135. So I'm pretty well set now uh, with... Uh, primes for doing weddings and stuff like that. I think I've got a great focal length now. And in between that, I've got the, you know, the 20, uh, 28 to 75 is a, is a great zoom lens that I can use and take as well. And then I've also got the 55 uh, 1.8, which I adore too. So I'm pretty well set with what I've got. And I've got the 35 1.4 as well, if I need that. But, you know, I thought it might be something I, I can have. I've been after something that is really nice and small for a while. Um, and particularly after I've used the 135G Master, I love using that lens. So I thought, boy, I've got to get the 24mm. Uh, I just haven't been able to see it in shops um, recently. So I just thought, well, look, I'm going to order it. And it came in four days direct from Sony Australia. So, uh, so happy. So stay tuned for me to be using it. Uh, but I'm so excited. Let me open up the chat to see what you guys are having to say. And let me know too if anyone has used that variable filter. It is expensive. It's $249, but I thought I'm going to get a good one for it. And I can also share that between the Tamron as well. Um, so let me go to the chat. Oh, let me bring that down. Um, the suspense is killing me. I need to get some sleep. Well, I've told you what I've got now. I unboxed it with you. Uh, he bought a Pentex. I love how you're all saying that. Um, Gary picked it. Gary picked that it was a 24G Master that I was going to get. Um, what else have we got? Manuel says a few of them coffees and he won't feel the pain. 
Um, someone said the 400 2.8. No. Barry said Sigma lens. Uh, what, what did you buy? I've already now showed that. Um, the Essential Light picked it as well, which is interesting. That's because I've been talking about it for a while. Mike said 24. Quinton said the Sony 24GM. Um, so a few people picked it before I got it, and that's probably because I've been talking about that for a while. Uh, Michelle said such an awesome, uh, lovely lens. The Panda said purchase that for me. Wayne said I just ordered mine last week. How long was your wait? Three days, Wayne. So it was in stock when I purchased it. So I logged on to Sony, uh, the Sony.com.au um, here and checked it and it was in stock. So seeing that it was in stock for the first time, I just purchased it straight away. And I got it within three days. It was mailed to me within three days. So um, the Essential Light said, you will love that. It's my favorite lens. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's not a focal length that I've used heaps, um, but I am looking forward to using it, particularly now that I'm using more things on a gimbal, which, like I said, uh, being a little bit wider uh, has a big advantage. And, and also I can shoot the 1.42, which will be lovely. Um, so I'm excited about that aspect of it as well. Um, Real jealous, it was, it's back ordered everywhere. Yeah, I was surprised to see it in Australia that it was on, in stock. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Barry said, green with envy. David said, congratulations. I know it's pretty exciting. David said, nice. This little diversion before bedtime just cost me $1,400. Um, why, did you go and buy it as well, did you, David? Uh, Gene says, how's the A6400 with the 16? I love that combination, Gene. I'm going to review it. Um, that, uh, where is it, here, I absolutely adore this combination. The A6400 with, the, uh, with this lens on it, the Sigma 16mm, is stunning. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, it's a great combo. Uh, terrific on a gimbal. Um, fantastic. So sharp. It's one of my favourite combinations, actually, that I love it. Um, Got both, just waiting on the A6400 to arrive hopefully this week. Yep. I've been much more happy with the A6400 than I thought I would be. Um, I was worried about it not having IBIS. But since I've been using it, uh, it's been fine. I mean, look, ideally the next camera that comes out will have that, the A7000 or whatever it will be. Um, but I've so enjoyed using the tracking on that camera is nuts. I mean, it's only beaten by my A9. Uh, the, the tracking is so good on that. And it makes it such a great video camera. Um, Nivak said, David, uh, definitely bring that one for the Vegas trip. Yes, I certainly will be bringing that for Vegas, that's for sure. Um, I'll probably bring that in the 135, uh, I think, and perhaps the Tamron too. So I've got a, a, a zoom lens as well. Uh, DL says, now you'll have to let me try your 135. Uh, Rosa said, nice one, love to try it on the A7R3. Will you be doing a live stream when you tell your wife about your board? No, I won't be, that's for sure. Um, Gary says, I knew there could be only one thing that you've been wanting to, uh, um, you would be so giddy over. Yeah, I know. That, like I said, this is my second G Master. I've never had G Master lenses. And in the last couple of weeks, I've got the 135 and I've now got the 24, so I've bought two of them. Um, Nivak said, it's the smallest lens I own. I know it's tiny. I can't believe how small it is. Like, what has Sony done some voodoo magic inside of here that's made this so small? Because it is really nice. Uh, really nice. And, and that's what that's the thing that I've been wanting to get is a really nice light lens. Remember, I'm shooting stills and video at the same time. So for me to be able to have this on a gimbal, which will be nice and light, um, will be beautiful. And, and it really is lovely and small and light. I was surprised when I unboxed it how small it was. Um, gorgeous, David. Um, Nivak said, it's the smallest lens I own and one of the best. Uh, Boca time, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it looks. James said, you only live once, think it will be a great lens for your work. And that's what I think, James, I do only live once and I might as well get what I'm happy with. Um, Mad Photographer said, God, 2,100 AUD. Yep, it's uh, pretty expensive. <laughs> I've got 30 days where I can try and pay it off. Um, Langson said, uh, oi, uh, Haas says, but don't you have the 67 already? Um, 67? What does that mean, Haas? I haven't got a 67, no. 
Uh, also say, oh yeah, the 67 filter, yes. But I'll, but I have, yes, which is that one. Uh, you're talking about me buying that, this variable ND, um, that one. Um, it's the two to five stop. Yes, I have, but, but often I'm using two cameras. Uh, so the issue for me is that I need two NDs. So um, I thought that I'd buy two because this will often sit on my uh, Tamron. And then if I want to, I've got that second one that I can stick on the, uh, on the 24 mil G Master. That's why I thought I'd buy a second copy of this. But it's going to Gerald because they won't ship to Australia. Uh, so I've got it being shipped to Gerald and then Gerald's going to ship it to me, which uh, will be nice. So I think he gets it tomorrow. And then it'll take a few days, I suppose, to ship to uh, down here as well. So I have already got a 67, yes. Uh, on this one, I use the ProMaster, which I love. So I'm using the ProMaster on the 55. Let me just see if I can get that out of focus. Uh, so that's the one I'm using on my 55 mil, and I adore that ND. No color cast or anything with that. So uh, I'll, it'll be interesting to see how these more expensive NDs are. Now I've paid for that out of my own money, so I'll give you, I'll tell you if it's worth the money or not, because it is expensive. You know, 250 bucks is not cheap, and that's US. Um, <clears throat> where were we? Uh, also said, yeah, yeah, let me know how those NDs, yeah, I'll let you know, I'll, I'll uh, do a review of it and see if I think it's worth that sort of money. Um, so it doesn't make my videos 99% B-roll, every, uh, the everything man said, my main man, David, what's up brother? Uh, just having a bit of fun mate, just buying some new gear. <laughs> Spending some more money and not telling Kerry I'll be in trouble later, but ah oh, well. <laughs> Uh, them are the breaks. Brett says, I'm jealous now. Loved it when I tried it and our Sony photo walk in Brisbane. Yeah, it seems like it's a really nice lens from all the reviews that I've seen, Brett. So I just thought I'd give it a go. Mag Photographer said, everything, uh, the everything man gangster. Uh, Hero Shot said, new gear hype. Um, Carl says, I'm late. Did he get the 24GM? Yes, I did, Carl. It's right here. Love it. I can't wait to use it. Um, my man Langston says, existing gear hype. Okay, I've got nothing. Uh, Rosa said, when my husband buys our photo gear, he walks on the principle of buy now and uh, apologize later. Yep, that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> Seems like you're approaching this the same way. I love it. Um, Hero says, uh, the, Sig the Sigma 16 on the A6400 is a match made in heaven. It is. It's, that has really surprised me how well I love using this. The focus with this 16mm is as good as anything native that I've got. Uh, super sharp. Great to use. It's, I mean, it's not tiny, but you've got the 1.4 aperture, uh, which is nice and wide on the A6000 series. Not too expensive. Uh, great for on a gimbal. Focus is stellar, um, so I love it. I, I really love it. Like I said, I'll do a review of it as well uh, pretty soon so you can uh, see how it is, but uh, it, it's fantastic. It's a great combo. In fact, I think it's probably the best combo I've had on the A6400. Mad Photographer says, too big for a gimbal. Um, I'm not sure what that was. Mark said, hi, all a bit late. Did I miss Kerry coming in with a broom? She's out today. This is why I'm doing this live. Uh, she's at a dinner. Um, Langston says, I, uh, just went, just want an A9 before the prices go back up, but I thought, but I bought lights that I don't need, so yay, for a dumb purchase. You can always never have, uh, too many lights, like I did that review yesterday, um, and I'm getting another one sent to me from another company. I, I love these little light bank things that are out there, I adore them, um, and I, the funny thing is that, I, I was talking to Kerry about it yesterday, that they're the best thing to stick in your bag, and then you can just light and add highlights in the room, you know, and it's beautiful because you can hide them so easily. It can make such a massive difference when you're doing detail shots, flowers, uh, the ring shots, stuff like that. So having all of these small lights is, is amazing. Um, but Langston, I'd definitely get the A9. Even if they release an A9 II, the A9 is going to be an amazing camera for the next three to four years. It's, that camera is stunning. 
Um, Hero says, yeah, I got the Moza Air and I couldn't handle it. Oh, it's too heavy. I actually like it, but I've showed you yesterday the, the new handle that I'm getting. Uh, I'm just waiting on an attachment for that handle, which will really be nice. So once that comes out, I'll review it and show it to you. But I don't mind the weight of that Moza Air 2. It, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, I love the way, though, that you can unbalance it and it will, the motors are that strong that it will still balance beautifully. Um, so I prefer it than the Moza Air 2 that I had, the Air Cross, I mean. Send the Moza back. It must have been too heavy for him. Um, Hero says, uh, I would hold for like one minute and then go limp. Yeah, it's not light. That's this one. It's not a light gimbal, but I absolutely love it. Um, I really do love it. It is so stable. Love the features of it. Um, fantastic. And guys, I paid for that. I don't get anything from Moser at all. Um, nothing. Uh, so they, they're all purchased out of my own money. So, you know, when I rave about that Moser stuff, I'm not sponsored by them uh, or anything. It's stuff I've purchased myself. Um... Buzz said, nice lens, I'm considering it. Can you please try some Astro Star shots with that lens if you have the chance? I think it would, look, I don't really do astrophotography. Um, and plus we're in winter now. <laughs> There's probably no way I'd be able to go out at night. It's too, when I say cold, it, look, it's not cold to European standards, but it's cold for us. Uh, I think this would be an amazing Astro lens. Uh, I would be, it would be perfect, I think, for that. Um, one day I might just try and go into the country and see if I can do some astro stuff, but I, um, it's not something that I normally do, uh, but it would be a great astro lens, that's for sure. Um, House says, maybe a Sigma 16, an A6400, and 24 1.4 on full frame video comparison. Yeah, that, that could be a, an interesting uh, video comparison, actually. Um, the whole trio for APS-C is a must. Yes, I'd love to try and get the, all this, those Sigma lenses, the APS-C lenses, uh, and give them a go on that. I've been tempted at 60, is it the 67 mil, I think it is, um, that I'd love to have a look at too, or is it 57? I can't remember. Uh, but there's a couple that I'd like. I think there's a 30 mil isn't there, and there's also a 60 odd or something. Um, but I'd, I'd like to try that. Let me just have a look over here. Um, I think it's Sigma 57, isn't it? I'm just trying to see if it is a 57. Sigma APS-C. No, I'm just trying to see, it's not coming up. I can't remember the focal lens, but uh, I know there's a there's the three lenses. Someone might be able to tell me in the live chat. Uh, there is to see. I've I've got the 16, and then I think there's a 30 mil, uh, and I think there's a 50 odd or a 60 odd. I can't remember. Um, let me just scroll down here. Go back to there. Uh, what else have we got? What lens do you have now? Well, that's the one I've just bought, which is the 24 mil. Um, Mick says, good morning, great work, can see your excitement, Sony Australia are on it as I just got a call to say my 402.8 GM is going to arrive next week. Woohoo! That's fantastic, Mick. Um, what gimbal do you use for the A9? I use the Moza Air 2 now. I've, I've got three gimbals. Look, I've got more than that. I've got other gimbals in the back. I'm a bit of a gimbal junkie. Um, but the three that I'm using at the moment are the, um, I've got the Moza Air Cross, I've also got the Moza Air 2, and I've got the Crane M that I use for if I'm carrying something small around. Uh, so I've got three gimbals that I'm using at the moment. My favourite is definitely the Moza Air 2 though, I love that gimbal. <clears throat> uh... Where was I up to? Oh, there. Yep. So I was up to there. Um, out of stock B and H in New York City. What's that, David? That's out of stock. Carl said, "Looking forward to some image testing, David." Um, Langston says, "Wow, A six four hundred US sub one thousand. Really, that's fantastic." 
That's a great camera for that money though. The A6400 is a great camera. Uh, I am not religious, but I'll say a prayer for you. <laughs> I might need it. Huge difference right now, A9 or A6400. I'd definitely get the A9. I, I still think that that is the best camera that is available in the marketplace at the moment. Um, it's always been under 1K for the body. Um, okay, didn't pay any attention because it was APS-C. It's a great camera, but it's not an A9, that's for sure. It's a little brother to the A9, and it is, yes. Uh, the one thing that is that I would like, uh, would be using it for as, as a second camera in a multi-camera setup. So wonder what kind of problems it might present in post. As long as you stick to Sony, uh, they all match uh, equally well for me. I use multiple Sony cameras and I've never had a problem matching them in colors. The, the area where you have issues is if you start to mix camera systems and that's the problem. Like if you had a Canon involved or a GH5 or a Fuji or something like that, that's when you can have differences in color. If you stick within the Sony realm, you, you won't have any problem at all. Um, Langston says, since the other camera will be an A7 III, yeah. I mean, Langston, I, if, if you can, I'd buy an A9 and have the A7 III as your second camera. That's what I'd be doing. Um, Haas says, I've seen positive reviews about the PM Edition filter with no little color shift. Yeah, well, that's why I want to try it. But sometimes, like I said, the reviews can be a little bit slanted if they're paid views. Um, I put that review up yesterday, which uh, they gave me that light. But... I wasn't told that I had to give a positive, negative review or anything like that. If I did, I wouldn't have taken it. So the review that I gave you yesterday on that light was totally uh, as I see it. Um, if there was something wrong, I would have said. Uh, and that's what I'll always say to those companies when they give me stuff is I'm going to give an honest review. Uh, so they didn't pay me to the, do the review. But some of those reviews may have been paid reviews. I, I put on sponsored by um, that company yesterday, but it wasn't actually sponsored in the fact that uh, it, it, they didn't pay me to do anything with it. They just gave me that light. Uh, but there was certainly nothing in um, anything about that I had to give a positive review or anything like that. So uh, it'll be interesting to see with that ND whether it's worth that sort of money, though. I'll, I'll tell you, and I'll, I'll let you know when I review it. Um, What else have we got? Manuel said, everything man, dig your content, dude. Um, Rosa said, can't wait for the A92 silent shutter using the global shutter, should produce images with no banding. Uh, during my events work, the A92 plus 24G Master should be an awesome combo. Yeah, well, I've never had banding in my A9 anyway, so uh, if, if you're worried about that aspect, I think the A9 is good enough now. Obviously, the A92 is going to be better. We just don't know what it's going to be. I'm not even convinced there will be an A92 released. Um, we just have to wait and see. Um, the A9 at this stage is still so far ahead of anything out there that I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get another one yet. Uh, I think there's definitely going to be lens released, but I'm not convinced there'll be an A92. There might be, but I'm not convinced. Hero says, uh, put the Sigma 16 on it, and that's your video camera. Uh, it does do great video. I love the A6400 uh, with that 16 on there, that's for sure. Um, but the PM edition also makes my videos 99% B-roll. DL says, just tell Kerry you wanted a lens to do her environmental portrait. <laughs> Everything Man said, thank you, Manuel. Everything Man, yet yeah, great videos. Uh, Langston said, David, those lights look very nice, especially in the internal battery. I know, that light that I showed you yesterday, this one... I've taken it back inside, but uh, this thing is awesome. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm getting another one. It may be tomorrow, uh, or it's definitely going to be Monday. That's a cheaper version of this. It's a little bit cheaper. So I'll let you know what I think about that one when I get it. That's also just been sent to me. Uh, but this is brilliant. Uh, all aluminium. Have a look at the review if you haven't seen it. Uh, I put it, it's the video before this one. Fantastic. It's about $150 US though, so they're not really cheap, but boy, are they powerful. Uh, great controls, feels fantastic. Uh, there was nothing bad I could say about it apart from some of the accessories that came, uh, like that, you know, which are plastic. So, but they, they're only included in the kit. Uh, there was that, and there was another telescopic one, which is here. Um, that one 
which is like a little telescopic adapter that comes with it. Uh, I mean, they're plastic, but they're not really part of the light. They're just added as an extra bonus in the kit that's being sold at the moment on Amazon. I've got the link in the previous video if you wanna have a look at it, but brilliant, fantastic light. I can't wait to use it in weddings and stuff. And in fact, I used it yesterday uh, for two product shots that I did on Instagram. I used it for a product shot of the bag that I've just got and also the uh, Profoto A1 and my A uh, B10, uh, I use them for, for shots like that. So for product type photography, and if you're doing that sort of stuff, they're brilliant. They really are brilliant. Um, Langston also said, I currently have a ton of NFP batteries that I carry for the LEDs. Yeah, this had an internal one, which makes it so small. Uh, and it lasts for hours if you don't run it full power. And you very rarely will run this full power because it's so bright. Um, don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you for saying that, Victor. Uh, oh, thank you. I've just had a donation. Let me just say thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you so much, DL. Really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let me scroll down a little bit more to where we were. Uh, Langston said, um, would I have any luck with the 24mm f4 lens trying to get Milky Way shots? It's not fast enough. You need a 2.8 lens, really, at least for that sort of stuff. Uh, Nivak said, this lens makes Astro easy. Other winter brings clear sky for the stars, but I don't know if that's true on Australia. Yeah, it does. I, I think that's the same thing here, although... Due to the fact that we have such little population, we haven't got to go far to see amazing stars. It's just that I don't do it very often. Um, I mean, I do enjoy it. I did a lot of it when I was in New Zealand. Um, but I should do some more of it just for the fun of it. I just don't like the cold. Um, <clears throat> Hero says 16, 56 and 30. Thank you. So that's what they are. Yep. So there's the 16, the 56 and the 30. Uh, I'm particularly interested, the, the, the lens I'd like to try is the 56, because I love the, the 85 mil focal length. So that 56 would give me that on APS-C. So that's a lens that I would love to try. It might be one that I can um, borrow from CR Kennedy and review it for you guys. Um, Brett said, perfect for Astro, the 24 mil G Master. Can't wait till Sony makes a 16 or 14. Yep. It'll happen eventually. Here I said, best lens for the A6400 is the Sigma 105 1.4. <laughs> Brett said, yes, winter time in Australia is best for Astro. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't do much of it. Uh, Haas says, yes, David, that's why we all come back to this channel as it's not so heavily sponsor based where you are forced to give five star ratings. Yep, I tell everyone, Haas, that even if they give me the stuff, there's always a, an initial email conversation. I always say to people, I review it as I see it. Um, so if they send me the stuff, they have to face that aspect of it. Um, but I really only ever review something that I'd like to have myself or, or whatever. I've just been sent a tripod, um, which is, uh, it's similar to a Manfrotto one. Um, and they sent that to me the other day. They said, would you be willing to test it? And I thought, yes, because it's nice and cheap. And I thought it might be a great alternative for people that can't spend too much. Um, so I'll, I'll be reviewing that in the coming days, uh, but I'm just going to give that, I'm actually going to give it to Ben. Uh, Ben's a local photographer here that's just starting up. So once I've done the review of that, I'm going to give that to Ben um, rather than, you know, sell it. Uh, but it looks like it's a really nice made uh, tripod. I mean, there are some features about that it is a bit cheaper, um, but I'll talk about that when I'm in the review. Um, Yeah, and there's, there's no way I'm going to give a five-star rating, Haas, if it doesn't deserve it. That's for sure. Langston says, man, that B-roll joke is falling flat. I didn't even get the joke yet, but uh, Rosa said, perhaps I didn't read it right, Langston. Um, Rosa said, the cat, is Catman do your secret sponsor? No, I just love their stuff. I've got stacks of um, jumpers. I've got about three of these. That's probably why I wear it so much. We're in winter now. It's quite cold today. It's 12 degrees Celsius today. Um... So I love these because they're nice and light, but they're still warm. And I've also got jackets that I wear of theirs as well. Uh, but I wear, the whole family wears Katmandu. We love their stuff. But no, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, 
Dave, uh, can you do a review bet? What's that mean? Can you do a review bet? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Nivak says, Brett Harris makes sense. Here in the northern USA, the summer is much more humid, so the skies can be hazy at night. Thank you so much, DL, for the, uh, for the donation. Um, Buzzworthy said, uh, you sure would, Langston? It's a little narrow for Astro, but I shoot... Uh, off my deck, so I go up to 21 mil. Oh, okay. I, I've used 24 before. When I went to uh, New Zealand, I used a third-party lens. I think it was a Tamron or something, um, or a Rick, uh, Rockion. It was the um, 24 mil, um, and it was a 2.8 lens, and that worked very, very well. Um, Langston, Buzzworthy said, Langston, Milky Way this coming week will be narrow enough to capture most of it with a 24 mil. Uh, Langston, uh, Langston says, Groovy, I'll have to try and uh, make it and go out, uh, and that's about it. We've sort of caught up. So any last questions before I finish? Uh, we didn't do the live show yesterday with Aaron. Um, check out Aaron's <laughs> new look. He's just posted a video. He's a bad, bad boy, so check out. If you haven't looked at that, you can check out Aaron's new look. Uh, we will be back to it next week. Aaron went to Las Vegas, so we couldn't do this week's live behind the photo show. Uh, I will be live again, though, definitely on Friday for the Sony Alpha Rumors. That's Thursday, your time in the US at the usual time, uh, 10 p.m. Melbourne time. I think it's about 8 p.m. New York time. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That will be back live on, on my Friday, your Thursday. Um, and apart from that, I might have a couple of reviews up or something. I might have another review up tomorrow. Uh, as well. Um, ha ha, Katmandu just took my wallet two days ago. Yeah, I love their, I love their stuff. I, all, I wear it to death, all of their stuff. I've got so many of their jumpers and jackets and snow suits and everything else. Um, Rick said, sorry, Dave, a comparison review between your light stick and the, uh, oh, do you mean between the, um, do you mean between my ice light? The ice light will be way softer. Uh, I, I know that immediately. It will be way softer than what that light is. Uh, the thing that mostly I'll be using these for, like I said, are for to have with you all the time where you can just grab it out if you need it. Also, this is amazing for photography. I, I probably wouldn't use this for sort of like portraits and stuff like that because the light's going to be a little bit hard. I mean, you could do it if you were sort of desperate and you had nothing else to go by, but these are more going to be where I'll light up, uh, give some room, some ambient light, like shine it onto the wall, uh, light up a um, product bit of, you know, that you want to show off, light up the rings, uh, light up the flowers, stuff like that. That sort of stuff, this is amazing for. Um, I don't think I'll be lighting portrait stuff and stuff like that. That's where I'll be using the ice lights and stuff like that on. But but I do adore having them. And this product is incredible. It feels brilliant. I can't wait to see how the other one is because that's a bit cheaper. And the reviews I've seen of it um, look like that's pretty good as well. Uh, so I can't wait to have a look at that too. Uh, like I said, I, I may get it tomorrow. Um... You can net, like I said though, you can never have too many lights in your setup. Buzz said, David, sorry, David is correct, 2.8 is best for Astro, but if you only have F4, use 6400 ISO or 1200 ISO. Yep, that's why I've always tended to use 2.8 when I've got it. Langston said, Aaron's gonna get stopped at the airports now because he looks like an international man of mystery. <laughs> if you haven't seen Aaron's video, it's bad. Check it out. He looks like a biker. He looks like he's like out of Sons of Anarchy. Um, Buzzworthy said, sorry, David, can't type. Langston said, yes, I'm using the A7 III. Yep, you need to get the A9, Langston. If you can afford it, get the A9. You will never, ever look back. Van said, hi from Chicago today, usually from Mich Michigan, is it? Uh, but couldn't avoid David even from the trip. So thank you so much for tuning in, Van. I, I mean, like I keep saying to you guys, I love you. I can't wait to meet you guys. Hopefully you can all come down uh, and we can have a massive meetup when I'm in LA in February. I'm out for four weeks. Um, I'm also going to, to um, uh, San Francisco as well, so we can have a meetup there. And we can also have, obviously, meet up in Vegas as well. So I am actually coming out for four weeks. So I'm so excited about meeting all the people from the US. And later that year, or perhaps the next year, I'll be going to Europe, so I'll have a chance to meet all the Europeans as well. 
Um, Langston said, I spent my A9 money on the Aperture Light Kit. <laughs> well, it's something that you're always going to have, Langston. So, you know, I, I wouldn't worry about... Like I said, you can never have too many lights. I've got that much lighting in my studio, but there's sometimes when I use it, I do big dance shoots where I use every single bit of light gear that I've got. And that's, I think, about eight pro photo lights and I use all of them. Um, so, you know, you can never have enough. Store them away and one day you might be required to use them. So uh, I'll always be buying lights. And like I said, if I can get my hands on stuff like this, I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Uh, because I just adore having these. I, I love gadgets and I, I've always been the same. Uh, and to have that ability to like, you know, like I said, be able to bring them up uh, and do those. I haven't got, have I got my phone here? No, it's inside. Uh, let me just bring up um, Instagram. Because I'll see if I can just show you the type of stuff that uh, I was doing. Uh, now, how do I get to see mine from here? Posts. Oh, D. Osler. Let me just put D. Osler. Someone else has got my name on Instagram. I can't believe it. D. Osler. So yesterday, uh, let me just go full screen here. So these are the sort of stuff where, you know, that I'd like to, I like using these lights on because, uh, let me just go... A bit back that way so all I did was I, I lit these up with it so it was uh, just where you can have you know a nice little bit of light um, is that gonna scroll up yeah there um, just so you can have a nice little bit of light that's like that you know just to add a little bit of um, contrast in your backgrounds and stuff like that um, again I used it for the bag that I've just bought um, here, which I'll review shortly. I love this bag. This was sent to me by C.R. Kennedy. Uh, I love it, but I've, uh, I'm going to purchase it. I'm going to buy it because I just adore it. Um, so that's, that's that bag. Um, and then I used it for this as well. So, you know, they're great to just grab out and give a little bit of highlighting on an image. So they're fantastic for that sort of stuff. So having those small lights are brilliant. You know, and when I did the... Um, which one was it? When I did this one of my camera the other day, showing that Pro Photo Connect, uh, not that one. Uh, this, see, this was lit from it as well. So you know, they're great little things that you can just pull out at any time and give a little bit of uh, lighting. So I love that sort of stuff. It's 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 great. Um, I tried lighting a scene with my Godox modeling lights. It didn't go well. Yeah, you, you might need something a bit more powerful than that. Um, I've got so much, like I said, I've got so much continuous lighting and high-end lighting in my studio. Um, I am Brown. Good day, mate. Uh, Nivak said, can you publish dates for your trip? Uh, yes, uh, we're coming out on February the 8th, I think. Uh, let me just look. I'm pretty sure it's February the 8th. Uh... November, December, January, February, we're, no, February, we, we're we there on February the 10th for a month. So that's the date we're out there. But I'll, as I get sort of more well worked out, I'll, I'll send you the exact dates. But it looks like at this stage, uh, I'm, I'm in America, I'm landing in uh, LA on the 10th, and then we're doing we're at Vegas for the WPPI, which I think starts, um, I'm just trying to see if it's in there. No, it's not listed on there. Um, yeah, it's not listed down there. Uh, we're, if you look up Vegas WPPI, I can't remember the date that that was there, but I'm there for the whole of that. I'm gonna stay a week though in Vegas, so we're gonna stay a little bit longer. As the dates, as I w we work out exactly what dates will be there, I'll let you guys know. But we do land in LA on the 10th of February. Um, and we'll organise a meet-up for sure. Buzzworthy said, David, when are you going to get us some, uh, some video vlog from one of your nice beaches? I know I should do, shouldn't I? But remember, it's winter now. But I am going to get... Um, CR Kennedy, you're going to send me some... Um, uh, sign lenses so i'm actually going to get some really expensive sign lenses and i'm actually thinking about doing stuff from the coast with that because you're right our beaches are stunning uh, they really are incredible 
uh, beautiful and with waterfalls and stuff like that. So I probably will do some, I'm thinking of, that I might do some of the sign lens review that I do. I might try and get some really cinematic uh, beach scenes and stuff like that. So yes, I will do that. Um, but you're right, uh, the beaches are amazing, buzzworthy, stunning. Uh, we have some of the best beaches in the world here. Our Great Ocean Road is, is, is amazing. Rick said, when I was in Melbourne last, I, uh, last I sh sh sure I saw you something, I think. <laughs> you said you saw me near the DJI store. Maybe, because I did go to the DJI store in Melbourne, so I wonder if you did see me. I met up with a guy there, actually, from, um, I think he was from Perth or something. Uh, I met him there on the day. Uh, we had dinner, uh, or we had a drink together. Well, that's about it, guys. I'm going to head off because I'm going to go and get some lunch. Uh, it is lunchtime for me. I just wanted to do that unboxing with you. How exciting. Uh, can't wait to try it out. Uh, like I said, stay tuned for Friday's Sony Alpha Rumor and News Show that's coming up uh, on your Thursday if you're in the US and Europe. Uh, apart from that, I'll see you all soon for the next video, guys. Uh, love if you give me a thumbs up and uh, comment down below anything you'd like me to, to know about the lens or whatever, or what you think about that lens. Uh, and I'll see you all soon for the next video. Uh, I've got to go and get something to eat. I'm starving. Catch you guys. See you all.